my first exposure to medicine was really when um, I would accompany my dad to the hospital. My dad is a physician on the island where Trinity is. And I think my first impression with that when I went with him um, on rounds was just awe and fascination at how he was able to really diagnose and, inter and how he interacted with patients. And um, I think eventually the more I was exposed to it, I just saw how passionate everyone was um, in that profession, and I just fell in love with it. There's just so many different modalities and dimensions to it, whether you're interested in public health or the surgery tract or you know, women's health or preventative care, and I think for me that it just provided a great platform for um, personal growth, and it's one of those unique professions that not only appeals to the intellect, but also has, you know, you're interacting with patients, and there's like a social component to it, too, so I really, I, I love that, and I couldn't imagine doing anything else. Mm -hmm. I actually grew up in India partly, and then moved to the uh, Caribbean when I was about 10 years old, so I was deciding I had a chance to really compare different schools and uh, the curriculum and the syllabus offered at Trinity, and I felt that it was in par with the, the curriculum that most U.S. medical schools follow. And uh, one of the unique things about Trinity, which really appealed to me, and now that I'm at the end of my training, I still think it's one of the best assets about it, is that, that they integrate or they emphasize on um, integrating clinical um, training or clinical rotations from the get-go, from just like the first uh, and second year of medical school, and I think that has just helped me immensely. And that was very unique about it, and I, I, I liked that. Of course, the small class sizes, and um, you know, I didn't want to be just another face in the crowd. Just um, I think the small class sizes just allowed us to really uh, cultivate a relationship with our faculty, and they had an open door po policy, and all of these things just really appealed to me. And um, uh, you know, it's one of the reasons that I chose Trinity. That's when I was in school, they were all just very interested and um, helpful. So they still inquire about you know what I'm doing. They're all interested. So I think I have developed like a great relationship, and I still um, interact with the faculty. And like I said, I, I definitely have some developed friendships that are probably going to last me a life lifetime. <laughs> I get that question a lot. They're always like, how did you end up in Wisconsin? <laughs> but um, I, so I did my clinical rotations in Chicago through okay. Trinity. And so I was, you know, around the Midwest area for a little bit. And um, I, I liked, I liked the Midwest. I, I felt really comfortable. I thought people were really nice. And, um, and I think, um, just the program itself when I interviewed here was it was very nice it just catered to what I was looking for in an internal medicine residency program so that's why I ended up in uh, Wisconsin <laughs> that's the other thing about Trinity we are such a close-knit community that everyone is really helpful and um, they're ha they helped me out with my application when I was applying for residency and I'm still responding to emails from people that I, I knew you know from Trinity that are currently applying and they're like, how do I do this? And um, I'm always really um, willing to help and that's kind of just been the, the culture there. The structure of the clinical rotations, the curriculum, the roles that we had as medical students and um, just the didactics that we participated in, everything is pretty similar to the training that um, students in American medical schools get and um, I can attest to that because as a resident I work with medical students from U.S. medical schools, and they pretty much follow that similar structure. Um, and I think, you know, one added advantage, like I mentioned before, and I truly think that this is a very unique thing about Trinity, is that we had had that early exposure to interacting with patients and history taking and physical, which is such a vital part of um, medicine, and just having had that exposure and that ability to, to practice that early on um, just allowed uh, me to be so much more comfortable when I started my residency, and um, I think just going out of your comfort zone to to a, a medical school um, that is offshore. Also, you know, um, I, I talk about this with a lot of my other friends that have gone to offshore medical schools. It just gives you that extra bit of adaptability and versatility, which I think comes in handy, whether it's um, you know, adapting to like an increased workload or patient load. I think we're just a lot more, a lot better at it. 
I also got to learn a lot, and I was just going to say it's so diverse. I got to meet a lot of people, and um, like I said, I've, I've developed great friendships, and um, I think it's it's a great environment. You know, everyone is just kind of out of their comfort zone, but you're in it together, and I think that um, helps with, there's so much like camaraderie and collegiality, so I think um, it was really great. <laughs> sort of, you know, I was thinking about that, and apprehension and anxiety, um, you feel before making that decision is absolutely natural and I remember when I was at that point before taking a big step you it, it's always helpful to know that someone's done it and it's reassuring to know that um, you can find success or achieve your dreams um, through this route and you know I think it would be it's a great decision coming to Trinity um, I definitely would say that the faculty, the administration, my um, friends that I've made, um, other uh, you know students that went to Trinity, they've all played such a pivotal role in my accomplishments. And I think this is um, a great opportunity to make your um, achieve your goals. You do have to be motivated. You definitely have to be self motivated, and it's not always going to be easy. But um, I don't think you'll ever regret your decision. I mean, definitely a lot of, like, uh, memorable. I think I probably laughed the most when I was at Trinity. We, we, I think, like I said, we always, we had that bond together. We just shared such a big part of our lives together. So whenever we get together, we reminisce about it. And there were so many great times after um, exams um, or during, before exams, we would study together. Or after exams, we um, party together. Sure. <laughs> um, and... Um, you know, and I think one of the things you had asked me about was um, how did, um, I guess, going to Trinity sort of change my view in medicine. Yes. And I think, it, it, I guess it, I would have to say that now that I'm at the end of it, you know, looking back that um, for people that are coming to an offshore medical school, um, I think being exposed to different healthcare systems and different health populations um, it just gives you a, a more global view, and it always is, is definitely an asset when you go into your own practice, and it just makes you um, just a well-rounded person. I think that, that I've never heard anyone say that this experience has affected me negatively. Everyone has walked away a much more positive person from it, and I think Trinity um, has such a, um, a role in that, you know, growth and all of the faculty and um, the students, everyone has just is there for you when you need them in every way. You know, if you need advice, if you have questions about what you're learning, and the quality of the education is just on par with what we would get at, at what you'd get at U.S. medical schools. So I think it's just a great environment to train in, and I have absolutely no regrets. And it's possible to be successful as I did, and so many of my other um, colleagues have. I was, uh, I'm was. i involved in uh, some projects here at the Marshfield Clinic. Uh, mostly I've been doing case reports. I actually um, just won the Young Achiever Award for ACP National for presenting my um, case report. One of the my quality improvement projects that I'm involved in is uh, uh, incorporating bedside ultrasound in um, just the resident's curriculum because it's the new big thing. And um, so... It's you know a, a developing a curriculum to help residents use ultrasound more comfortably as an adjunct to stethoscope. So we're working on training residents and hopefully hospitalists as well. So that's still ongoing. I I, I am chief resident. Yes, I just actually handed over my role or will be handing over in the next couple of days to the other chief that's resident. Great. I have a job in North Carolina at Wake Forest. I'm going to be that's a great. hospital. A while. Mm -hmm. I eventually want to do hematology oncology, but uh, going to work as a hospitalist there for a while. Okay. I guess the idea of going to a bigger university program, Wake Forest University, is so that I can get a little bit more research done.